I think I like the idea that uh, they have institutionalized the gender policy within the institution level, and they are already starting to see the results. And I think that a few more years, and I think we'll see more results. So all the best to you, and hope uh, if you take forward this step on the effect. Uh, and the last presentation for now would be Jean. Uh, Jean will be talking about uh, the. about Bahia Kasinuma Radio, which is a program on a migrant uh, Filipino uh, women. Uh, on, it is broadcast from FM YY Japan, right? So you were talking about that experience. Yes. Thank you. Please, I invite you. Thank you. I am from Kasinuma City, the Abbey Prefecture, Japan, representing Bayanihan Kasinuma Filipino community, in which we established after the March 11, 2011 disaster. As of now, we have 75 Filipinos members. The contents of the radio program is the culture corner in which we are presenting our culture to the Japanese community and other nations as well. Kesenuma local dialect, the difference and fun on how we adjust, learn, and use Kesenuma dialect in our everyday living, which is much easier to understand mostly by the elder people living in our community. And the community topics, we give some referrals, announcing upcoming events on our community and also to the Japanese community as well. And we also introduce some of the other foreign organizations around East Area on how they are doing and what they are up to. June, June 2011, local NGO and FMYY presented the idea for the Bayanihan Kesenuma Filipino community to engage in radio activity and now Bayanihan Kesenuma radio. That we immediately accepted due to the following reasons. <coughs> to let the Filipino community to know the situation in Kesenuma and the rest of the world to understand our condition in needed support after March the 311 disasters in Japan and to give them the necessary preparation in times of disaster. History follows. We have 16 broadcasts in the span of two years with the following impact to our status as foreign migrant women as survivors of the 311 disaster. It's the March 11. We found that radio broadcast is not a male-dominated job and could be produced by all women, especially among us as a foreign migrant. We discover ourselves as women to have the strength to develop our skills in community radio broadcast. We started to have two women who started the community radio and later we have six, including me empowered members involved in the community radio. Our presence in the community is much felt <coughs> ever than before. The community radio broadcast program provides more meaning and purpose among us foreign migrant women and importance to our community by Nihan Kesenuma. In short experience, we could have done more broadcasts if we could, if we include our training, the steps in preparing, executing, and evaluating the community radio broadcast. We have uh, lots of difficulties in overcoming domination of ideas that lessen the enthusiasm of others, of other members that limits our broadcast production right now. This is a temporary setback needing to overcome 
we trainee. With the felt empowerment brought to us foreign migrants by the community radio broadcast, the Bayanihan Kesenuma Filipino community is looking forward to have more training and information with the members of AMAR. We are looking towards regularizing our broadcast from 12 to 12, at least 24 per year and needed resource for sustainability. To carry on the set goal, we need your support our, to our needed training. Develop our community radio brand as foreign migrant women. Oriented and advocacy for foreign migrant women, rights and welfare. Build our partners and network and to promote our community radio locally, regionally, nationally, and internationally. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much.